equal minus. Okay. So all this perceptron thing, what it's doing, it's just doing a regular regression, except that it has some different update rule. You can make it all the good things is you can make it do anything. The perceptron, yeah, it's just doing regular regression exactly, but you can use the same ideas from perceptor, right? To go later on to support vector machines and all this other crap, right? Yeah. But the algorithm is kind of the same because you have a B guess and then you update the guesses based on some yeah. kind of a rule. I still have that in, in the support vector machine. A anything that they're gonna do is exactly, exactly they the same. They always have this update thing in everything. Exactly. Else. Okay. Exactly. Right? And you got two types of update rules. One update rule is this when you start from one line and you go down and you update every time as you go down, right? And mm -hmm. that's called the online. Yeah. Right? And the other one is the batch one. Mm -hmm. When you update once at the end, you calculate some kind of an average error mm -hmm. and you update once at the end, so you have to run it. Is that what we're doing now? We are doing an online thing where you update okay. every time as you go down. Mm -hmm. And they have this other one that's called the batch one. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so uh, so what is <laughs> so what is this gradient descent? Is are we doing gradient descent? So we descent don't exactly we're that? doing gradient descent, but we don't have the gradient in there. That's exactly my point. We're just updating. If you have an error, we're updating it with an x, okay. right? Okay. And we calculate, it and we assume that the x is the gradient. Okay. Okay. But the actual gradient is y it's x. Is y x? Okay. Y x y x right what do you mean y x it's y times x y times x okay mm -hmm. and the good thing about this is y times x allows us to get numbers that are not one or zero yeah you see if you just do an x you can't do it it worked if you just had one neuron you know sometimes it works just using x okay what is a neuron in this just the the x1 the is one neuron, x2 is the other. A no, there is one neuron that uh, that calculates the predicted from these two. The neuron has two inputs, x1 and x2, and uh, this is this is my neuron here. I call it is the neuron. And x's are the dimensions or something like that. Yeah, x's are the inputs. These are the weights. This is the weight, okay. These are the weights. Yeah. And then this is the output of the neuron. Okay, this is the so this, this is, a, this is, is wx. This is wx, and this is like through the step function. Wx, yeah. w times x. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. And this is like. And you just add them together because there are like two w's and two x's now. Exactly. Okay, I think I'm seeing the light. Okay, so now the key thing here is instead of this update rule here. Mm -hmm. You have to put this column in there, the H column in there. Because you have this update rule, you have to put the. A. That's the actual yes. gradient. That's the actual gradient. Okay, so in perceptor, perception error has this gradient. Okay. Okay. So tan has a different gradient. So you gotta put this gradient in there. Okay. So let's try that. In the update rule. Just do you gotta do the absolute okay, so then you have to do the negative value of the gradient, right? They say like the gradient points to the direction of the greatest descent or something like that, right? Mm -hmm. And then you gotta do the negative gradient. Well, I have the error here, right? So I know which way I classified it wrongly. Okay. Right? So I can just do the absolute value of the so this is how much wrong I got. Okay? So this one It should have been a one, right? Should have been a one, right? Okay, I lost you. What? what so this, been a one? this this third data here, it okay. should have been a one. Okay. Okay. I got a zero. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this was well, my, this was my W. So I got a big error here. Okay. This one should have been a zero. I got a one, mm -hmm. but I got a small error here. Okay, this error is smaller than this error. You see that? Yeah. Okay. So if I get a small error, I should update a smaller number, and if I have a big error, I should update more. Okay. So that's that's all you're doing. But 
So there are a bunch of ways of doing it. You can use the sine of the gradient mm -hmm. and then do the negative, you know, you gradient points uphill, they talk about this in the lecture and then you want to come downhill, right? Yeah. Or you can just use the actual error, which is whether I classified it as one where it should have been a zero, so I want to go down. But aren't you going to go down more than the than 0 0.3 if you have a minus one error? So you, you want to go down 0 0.3 times the x. Okay. Okay. And then you want to use the absolute value of that, because then you don't, you already have the sign in the error. So you don't need the sign of the gradient, that was my point. Okay. Okay, so just put it in there. Equals. No, 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 no. Oh. Escape. You already have most of the escape. Escape. Already have most of the formula there. Oh. So you just put the times apps of the The other one should be oh. the same thing. Uh, B2. Mm -hmm. Got it. Okay, it's almost there. This one row actually. Okay, you gotta drag them down. Oh, these. Mm -hmm. Like this. Mm -hmm. And the other one too. No, this one is good. Put the B O F F column. Oh, there. oops. Okay, and now try and like an initial guess of zero and zero. Let's see if it figures it out. Do another zero too. And then, and I'll do the equals on the first row instead of zero zero. Do the equals of the whatever the last one was. Uh huh. Equals. In here, put the yeah on the first one. Whatever your value was from the last time. This. Mm -hmm. I don't too. It doesn't. No, it managed to classify everything correctly. Hmm. Managed to classify everything correctly. Yeah. Good thing here is you don't have to run the separate regression step. So let's try to put like different numbers here. Let, 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 let's try 2 and 0 0.7. That's the first one. Okay, let's do a one here. It doesn't work, okay. But it gets pretty close to two and zero point seven. But isn't it the first guess? So the first guess needs to be updated. You're gonna get like more error in the beginning than in the end, but is that not true? Mm. Say again? Because you're doing a first guess, mm -hmm. aren't you gonna get like more errors here? Because it updates or something. Yes. And then you get less and less and less errors. Exactly. But then you have to go through the initial errors again. Because you might have to update several times in order to get it right. So now you got the So you actually go through it like, like Yeah, but only the errors. And then it fixes the errors if they Exactly. It just keeps on updating the error. Yeah. On every error it just keeps on updating the coefficient until it gets it right. Okay. So try to put 0 0.7 now as the first one. Here. Mm -hmm. There you go. Everything's good. Try to put B1, B1 is like 5. Okay. So now it updates it. 4.93. Right? Because my prediction was 0 0.45. Right? And I got it wrong, so I gotta update it. Gotta update both of them. You know? Then I got it right, then I got it wrong again. But now it was 15.01, so I get almost the same number back as I had before. It should be almost. Oh, 
okay no but because the error was so small I just want to update them a little bit right because I know it should be close okay so so let's try to see if it converges so put, put the equal sign equals here mm -hmm. and the last one let's see if it figures it out eventually yeah I'll put the other one too I don't understand why we can do this equals and just take the last one. Because we're iterating. It's like we're doing the recursive formula. Okay. It goes all the way to the end, it goes all the way to the back, and it's just Excel is going to run it so as many times as none of the numbers change. But wasn't that the point of this in the beginning? That it's going to just update? Yeah, but it goes, reaches the end, and then it doesn't start from the beginning uh, to the beginning unless you tell it to. So since we did this, it went through it once again. Mm -hmm. That's what I thought. It's just gonna go through it forever until none of the numbers change. Just by doing the last thing, mm -hmm. putting the this, mm -hmm. the first row equals this. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't go through with like a circle if it in by just doing this. No, because then it just reaches the end, and that's it. The initial guess is gonna be the initial guess. It's not gonna update the whatever you guessed on the initial. So what what is like a perceptron thing to do? Is it just going go, gonna go through it once? No, you're or gonna just keep on going, keep on going through the errors until you. The idea is you're gonna keep on going through the errors, and the theorem is like it's gonna finish. In so it it goes in a circle thing. It goes in a circle, yeah. Except it doesn't go in a circle. It just looks. It goes through the errors. Oh. It only looks at the ones that have one here or minus one. Doesn't ignores all the zeros, and the theorem is it's gonna finish in you know, t divided by r, t squared divided by r squared, number of steps or something like that. Okay. Times the length of the... So it essentially goes in a, in a circle, yeah. But the idea is that the circle is not going to be infinite, it's going to find an answer. Yeah. Okay. Is that what you did? did? Yeah. Maybe I should like try to 